Welcome, everyone. I'm delighted that you're attending an insightful accountant webinar. I am uh, totally thrilled that you've joined us this afternoon. Our topic today is how OnPay, OnPay sets a new standard in payroll. So my name is Sandy Leva. I am your MC. I'm the founder of Accountants Accelerator and Accelerator website. And I am very excited to introduce Kara R. I'm just going to do it like that, Kara. Um, and she is a team lead on OnPay's partner development program. And I, you know, I'm just, I love the American Payroll Association. I can't tell you how much. And for you to have earned that fundamental payroll certification, I think everyone should do that, you know, as accountants. I think that's a really valuable thing. And you've got several years of experience um, with IT and payroll. So Marjorie is going to turn the slides over to you so that you can control the presentation. So welcome, Kara. Perfect. Thank you so much, Sandy, for the nice introduction. And thank you, Marjorie. Let me go ahead and share my screen really quickly before we begin. Perfect. So you all should be able to see my screen. You all hopefully should be able to hear me. Um, I'm dialing in from a very rainy Atlanta, Georgia today. Um, so very excited to be here. Excited to be back at an insightful accountant. Now this presentation today, it's for those of you who are looking for a better solution for meeting the payroll needs of your clients, wanting to gain more hours in your day not spent on payroll. Kind of curious, can payroll be a value added service at your firm? Or maybe you're already a payroll nerd, you love payroll benefits, HR, we see you out there, we appreciate you. But yes, I wanted to make sure that I'm introducing myself. Oh, there we go, kicked me out for a moment. Um, my name is Kara Rajapaksa, and I help accountants have the best experience possible with us so they can focus on serving their clients. And as Sandy mentioned, I'm the partner development team lead on Pace Partners Program, um, and I previously did the prior wage entry, data migration, and setup of OnPay accounts too. And just a little bit of housekeeping of my own, it is a COVID-19 world at the moment, which means your presenter, me, is working from home, so please excuse any background noises should you hear them. I've done my best to mitigate the potential of any background noise. And we love questions. I love to field questions. So in the questions section of GoToWebinar, please type in your questions as we go along. I'll try to get to everyone's questions if there's time, but just in case, you can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo. We'll provide a link after this webinar. So today, I am going to show you why payroll should be a part of your firm, if it isn't already, and how OnPay is setting the new standard in payroll through an easy-to-use system that fits your client's needs. So let's get started. OnPay is a cloud-based payroll service provider that serves thousands of small businesses across the country. What we do is we offer payroll processing and tax filings for any organization. Really runs the gamut. They could be a startup, um, maybe sole proprietorship, more than 500 employees strong, restaurant, nonprofit, farm, even a church, those industries where they might require more specialized filing or um, specific circumstances or exceptions. And we also offer the most flexible integrations with QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Desktop, and Xero. And we also help out with benefits in HR to boot. But we felt that wasn't enough. We want to know how small businesses manage their back office responsibilities, including payroll. So we surveyed over 1,000 managers and owners of small businesses with at least one employee. And respondents, they were randomly selected. And the sample size itself, it was skewed slightly for employers with more than five employees to ensure we had statistically significant results for larger small businesses. So Kara, why is this important? Because this is what we found. Business owners are spending an average of 18 hours a month on payroll. It's time consuming and it's intimidating. What we also found was a quarter of business owners didn't feel confident that they were submitting taxes correctly. And it's costly. Not only is this so tied in with their books and cash flow, but a whopping 28% have been audited or received a notice from the IRS, which under any circumstances, no one wants. There we go. And what we found was that less than 40% of small business owners said they were totally satisfied with the range of service their accountant provides. So when their accountant is able to pivot, offer more services, 84% would consider their accountant to be a trusted business advisor. So 
we wanted to make it easier for accountants to make payroll a value-added part of their firm services and be there in more ways for their clients. On pay, we created our partners program for accountants in early 2019. So what this entails, our accounting partners get a free customizable dashboard so they can track all of their clients in one place. They receive free payroll for their firm. And as they add clients, they have the option. They can take a revenue share check that's issued quarterly or pass along the discount. More clients onboarded, higher the discount. And they also receive co-branded marketing materials and enrollment links to make offering payroll uh, seamless and easy. And with multiple tiers of user access, you or your clients can run, review, and approve payroll. Now, our accounting partners, they use OnPay multitude of ways. Um, you could have multiple ways for your accounting firm. It could depend on the client. Um, it's really flexible in that regard. But common situations that we see, we have our accounting partners monitor their client's payroll and have access to their books, but they're staying out of the day-to-day -day processing. This way you can make sure their books are just right, keep an eye on cash flow, but the responsibility is ultimately up to your client to run and approve payroll. Or some of our accounting partners take a more hands-on approach. They actually run and own the processing for their clients, and this typically offers the highest revenue for your practice. There's also flexibility on the billing side as well. You can bill your clients outside of OnPay, masking the cost, or you can have OnPay bill your clients directly. Really up to you there. Now, this wouldn't make sense for your firm or profitable if OnPay didn't have clear, easy to understand, simple pricing, which we do. All of our clients are on the same competitive pricing structure. This includes all of our payroll HR features, so you aren't going to see crazy pricing tiers for different functions or services. Um, what I tell my clients is when in doubt, it's included, and that pricing is what we see on the screen. $36 a month base and $4 for each actively paid employee or contractor, we support contractors too, during the course of the month. So what that means is your clients, they're only paying for workers actually receiving paychecks, not anyone who's merely marked active but not actually paid. Um, so there's some industries, restaurants, my go-to example for that, a little bit more cyclical, people coming in and out or maybe more seasonal businesses. If I didn't pay that person in the month but they're still marked active, I'm not going to see that per employer, per contractor fee for them. And because we charge a monthly fee, rather than by the pay run, our fees, they're often 50% less than other providers. And then on top of that, the prices listed, they're before the discounts you're entitled to as an accounting partner. We have tiered level of discounts available. And with this no hidden fee pricing, we offer you a whole bunch of extras, um, and it's at no extra cost. You're going to get access to a dedicated implementation team. They'll help you or your clients from the start up until the first payroll. So this is what I uh, previously did at OnPay, so definitely happy to field any implementation-related questions. Um, but what they can do, they can enter employee data, state tax IDs, prior wages, really anything you need assistance with. You'll also have unlimited access to our client experience team, phone, chat, email, and then also access to our licensed team of OnPay brokers to assist with benefits, enrollment, and administration. They can assist with business insurance, medical, dental, vision, life, whole other slew of insurance options. I think one of the aspects I love most about our, um, our brokerage team is that when a new employee is added to one of your client's accounts, they're prompted or they proactively take it upon themselves to reach out to your client. Um, hey, looks like you have a new employee. Let's see if they're eligible or qualified. Can we enroll them? So they're there every step of the way in that respect. And all of these are team members based out of our Atlanta, Georgia office. And they're also, as Sandy mentioned, they're certified through the American Payroll Association. So you know when you're speaking to someone, they're knowledgeable, they have training specifically in payroll, they're payroll nerds, hashtag payroll nerds. I don't know if that can become a thing. <laughs> but we are not done. With a knowledgeable level of support at that simple price point, you and your clients can also get unlimited pay runs, all applicable federal and state payroll tax calculations, associated payments, filings, plus new hire reporting, direct deposit functionality, built-in HR tools, integrations with popular time and attendance providers, 401k record keepers, accounting software, and more. 
So this is a good stopping point. I am going to show you the system in a few minutes. We're not just going to stay on the slide deck. Um, it'll be interactive, but who has the first question? I'm just going to pause my screen and let me take a look at the questions that have come in so far. So let's take a look here. Do you offer workman's comp policies? We do partner with a company called AP Intego. That's AP together, Intego, I-N-T-E-G-O. Um, they offer pay-as-you-go workers' comp policies. The advantage of that from what I've seen is that um, it's a little bit more accurate in terms of the premium. So how it works is you run payroll through OnPay. We have a direct integration where we send the information over to AP Intego. They calculate the workman's comp premium based on that payroll data, and then they would send your client an email telling them, hey, we're going to um, withdraw this amount for this month's premium, so um, they're always getting an invoice for that. Now, if your client decides not to go through AP Indigo, that's okay too. We do have tracking options available. Um, let's say they're using an annualized premium for workman's comp. We have ways that you can program or enter in uh, the class codes and rates in the system. And we actually have two dedicated workman's comp reports for that purpose that you can always send to that outside provider. And then let me see here. Oh, and Pat, I apologize. I glossed over your first question. So let me go over that as well. Um, we do have another question. I really need a federal and state checklist to show nonprofit clients every filing necessary so they can realize it's best to use a processor. Um, we can help you out there. So we actually have on our website, let me um, exit the slide deck because we're going to exit it anyways. And then let me make sure that you can see my screen. I'm going to go to onpay.com, and this is free even if you're not a client with us. I think this is a great resource. Um, under the resources tab at the top, we have a knowledge center. And if I go to how to use Onpay, it's going to load right here. I can search by keywords, um, but I do think that it's helpful. If I scroll down under state tax information, this is a clickable guide. So just as an example, I can click into Illinois. And it's going to pop up. It's going to tell me what tax forms on pay files. So we're, when we're taking care of all the applicable payroll tax filings, you can use this as a general guide for this is what you really should be um, filing. Now, I know some nonprofits, though, they could be exempt from state unemployment, federal unemployment. So I'll say your mileage may vary if they're exempt. You know, you, of course, wouldn't want to file that form. Um, or I see some nonprofit nonprofits have to file a zero percent state unemployment filing and they only pay when someone claims that so could be a little bit nuanced our onboarding team can help but what I like about this is we tell you the forms that are filed we tell you what information on pay needs so if they decide wow I really need a payroll processor they already know do we need power of attorney do we need third-party access or if they're brand new you know wide-eyed to payroll um, we do tell you in that state what agencies they need to register for and this might be good for you as well if you have a client in a new state you know exactly uh, what information to provide them so great question pat let me pause my screen let's see what else what other questions we have before we jump into on pay so right now i don't see any other questions so this is a great time let's jump into the system so i'm going to pause log in really quickly here Right, and it is spinning. I'm kind of crossing my fingers a little bit. It looks like it's going to pull up for me. My internet went out yesterday. It's a work from home world. So just got to roll with the punches there. But hopefully everyone's able to see now that I'm logged into OnPay. And specifically, I am logged into a dashboard that we create for each of our partner accountants. Now, this is a dashboard that you would have access to, not your clients. This is uh, one dashboard really to manage it all, created just for your firm. So what I'm seeing here for my test accounting firm, I have upper left-hand corner, Inatech is my accounting firm here. Um, I have the logo, name, and address. So that's what you would see in your account. I also see on the far right-hand side, let me highlight this, tasks and actions. Um, I'm seeing, am I missing a state tax ID, unemployment rate? And then payroll deadlines on the left right here lets us know the upcoming payrolls for the various accounts you manage. Please note, whomever processes payroll will also receive an automated email reminder, and they can also customize how far in advance those reminders need to go out. 
far left hand side here companies tab gives you access to all of your clients with a single login i can even assign my client accounts to a particular office or branch of my firm so you'll notice i have retail division agricultural but if i have um if I have locations in various states or, or different parts of one state, I can always create accounts and associate them and I can associate users at this level also with a particular office, which is nice. Now you can add clients with just a few clicks, but before I show you that, I did mention before that we also offer custom enrollment links. So for in a tech bookkeeping, what I could do is if I want my client to really drive that enrollment process, OnPay can create this form for you. We do it standard when we create that dashboard. Has my firm's logo. I send that out to my client. My client starts that information. They fill out um, the information needed for enrollment. And then OnPay is, notif or is notified. And then we would add that company to your dashboard. And we would also grant you user access. So you still have visibility, but they're fielding the questions from our onboarding team. They're working with our onboarding team directly. Now, if that's on you, you're really um, taking the charge there, so to speak, for the enrollment. What you can do is go to enroll a company on the far right hand side. Click begin a new enrollment, enter some basic information to get started, and then you'll be taken to this onboarding or in progress checklist. Now switching, we want to make it really simple, uh, seamless, fluid for our clients. Um, so what we do is if a client already has employees they're paying, make it super simple to move to on pay and get set up. Our onboarding team can take a lot off their to-do list by entering employees, contractors, prior wage data within a few business days. I usually tell people if they have prior wages, three to five business days start to finish, but it's free. You don't have to worry about an implementation team or implementation fee. You've got a whole team there um, that has your back to help you with this. Now, let me go back to that company tab. I want to go back to my main dashboard, so we'll hit launch right here. And if I want to view a particular account, I would still come back to companies on the far left, scroll down and find the company I'd like to view, and click this blue launch button. And when that company level dashboard appears, perfect. Upper right hand corner, if I need to toggle between accounts, I can. I would just click this downward facing arrow. I can go back to my dashboard or I can uh, search for an account or I can just scroll down and find one and log into that particular account. Now this, everything on here, I have a easy to use dashboard. It's gonna include information um, if I scroll down, upcoming pay runs, payroll that I've recently processed, any to-dos like approving PTO request or hey look, I have some employee offer letters. You can also customize by uh, selecting customize dashboard here if there's information that, hey, I really don't need to see this. I don't wanna clutter up. I wanna focus on what matters most to me. But what you may have also noticed is I have other features here that are specific to our free HR module. So don't forget, when in doubt, it's included. Um, we have an HR tab that's also there. So what I can do here, I can view personnel tasks assigned to myself that are outstanding. So in this case, uh, my employee, Jason, welcome Jason aboard. Um, I have a task that's triggered automatically once he completes the offer letter process. So in this instance, hey, make sure you're setting up Jason's workstation before his first day of employment. He has a key card for building entry. Um, he may not use that one for a while working from home, um, but just little reminders and it's assigned to um, anyone that's an on-pay user um, at the company level for this account. So I can choose who that's, who that's uh, given to. And then keep in mind too, onboarding, it's free for them to enter employees and contractors, um, but you can also skip the paperwork altogether. You can actually select this plus sign here and you can invite workers to complete their profile set up online, including contractor contractors. And besides completing personal information, they can add in routing account numbers for direct deposit. They can fill out their portion of the I-9 W-4 or for our contractors out there, the W-9. And then these are then available individually within the worker's profile, but also, and I'm going to pin this menu just so you can see it there on the screen, they're also available in the HR tab too. So I can search for a worker, I can download that file, complete as necessary. Now you may have noticed in that previous screen where we were on, if I want to take a step back further, I can even send an offer letter electronically. We do have templates that are available, so I'll click into templates here. Um, it's more than just offer letters though. So OnPay does have a template creation guide for offer letters. You can build it step by step. 
you can customize it too. If you've got one already, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You can use that as well. Um, but you can also have the employee electronically sign or acknowledge other types of documents too that populate with smart fields that you can put in place from other areas of the self onboarding they've already filled out. So it could be a handbook, harassment policy, sky's the limit there. And then what's nice is that once you send that initial invitation, the employee and contractors have continued access to a portal where they can view their pay stubs, they can download their W-2s or 1099s at year's end, and they can also submit time off requests online. So then um, you would get a notification, or if your client's managing the payroll, they would get a notification. They would want to come in, approve or reject as necessary. Um, I can also see this in a week view too, if I kind of want to forecast upcoming time off that's there. What I think that really does is giving those employees access to a portal, hopefully will mitigate some questions for the employer um, and make it simple to keep track of things like vacation days, which we have accrual policies for. Now we're also we've also expanded our other HR offerings. So in addition to all of the above that I've just mentioned, we do have other features like org charts. I can also come in and perform a quick file audit. And what's nice is I'm able to see at a glance who has um, sufficed my checklist or requirements for onboarding. What documents do I have? Maybe professional certifications, if they've expired, I can create a task, assign it to that employee, hey, upload a new certification, or hey, complete this uh, 2020 harassment policy, what have you. Again, sky's the limits there, and it's really meant to centralize your client's operations and save them time too. But I am going to pause because um, HR usually we get tons of questions on, so I'm going to pause the screen share and take a look at what questions we have. So here we go. What isn't included? Are the templates and employee workspace included? So that's a great question. Everything is included. The only potential additional fee that you could see throughout the year is at year's end. So what we do is we'll send out emails. We'll also have an option in app on the dashboard um, in terms of printing out the employee or contractor facing W-2s and 1099s. So keep in mind, the filings are all free. The tax payments are all included, so everything's included with the price point, but if you want us to print and mail those worker-facing forms directly to the worker's residence, it would be $5 per form. So again, $5 per form is the cost for that, but you have free options too. We have a filing section you can go to if you want to print out those forms yourself. So uh, close to the end of the year, this annual filing section will be populated, um, or they can also view those forms directly from the employee portal too. So that's all available. Let me take a look at some of our other questions here. Are local, or I, let me phrase it, does OnPay handle local taxes? We sure do. So that's definitely a lot to manage, those of you in states like Indiana, Michigan, Pennsylvania, um, Colorado, and many more. I'm sure I'm leaving out some state names there that have local taxes. We do calculate those. We do make the payments for those. So don't worry, we've got your back there. And then does OnPay handle the 2020 or updated W-4? Um, so we do, and I hope other providers do as well because we're already almost in May. Um, so it's been available for a while, but we absolutely do. Uh, when we bring over the information, that's one thing that our client experience or our onboarding team, excuse me, will point out. They'll be looking to see the filing status or tax elections you have for those employees at the moment. Does it fit the 2019? Does it fit the, the, the new updated one? And they'll enter accordingly. So just know there's, there's a legacy option available. Um, so yes, we do support that. So great question there. All right, and I don't see any questions at the moment, but don't worry. If you ask one and I continue on, I will make sure that I get to it. Um, so from here, let's talk about payroll. So I'm going to go to dashboard. I could go to payroll, but what I tell clients is, hey, you log into an account, navigate to next scheduled pay run. Something to keep in mind for your larger clients, if they have a larger employee count, is that you can have multiple different pay schedules. If you want to organize by department, they could be paid the same day. But if you want someone to you know, log in as a manager, enter hours for their department, perfectly possible, will not cost anything extra because you get unlimited pay runs with OnPay. And then right here, I have a shortcut. The next pay run that's upcoming, I'm gonna click the blue start run button and let me unpin this menu just so you can see a little bit more. And this very first step, I am choosing the workers that I'd like to pay. 
So I can, it is historic. So it's based on what's auto checked here. It's based on the last run that I process. So you may not have to check each and every time, but I do want to point out two things. First is that I am paying employees and contractors in the same pay run. Ready, track, Ready Tech is my contractor here. And then notice there's also different uh, qualifiers or tags associated with each of these workers. So I have items like the employee's position or the contractor's position. Um, I have fields for location and department. These are all tags that I can run reports based on. I can filter my reports. We have some reports that are specific that will auto segregate based on those tags. So just a nice feature that's available there. And then if I come here to enter hours, um, what I can do, I can easily verify salary amounts for employees like Jeremy right at the top here. Notice how his salary populates automatically. Now on pay, we do have automated PTO, sick and vacation accrual tracking. Um, someone mentioned, I believe it was Pat, mentioned, hey, um, I want to make sure my nonprofits know all that's involved with payroll. So in addition on our website, we do have payroll guides. We also have something I'd call their attention to is also don't forget to mention, hey, check the laws in your local area for tracking and managing um, mandated sick leave or PTO payouts. Um, it really can be at the state level um, it could be a little bit more complex, but just we want to make sure that even if they're not using on pay, they're accurately um, tracking that, you know, if there should be a, a dispute or an audit um, based on an employee complaint, they want to make sure that they're sufficiently showing that, yes, we are giving our employees like California, I believe um, I am, you know, accruing per hour and they I'm allowing them to take 24 hours per year, something along those lines. So. And on pay, it's really easy. It's all automated. I would just want to make sure during the course of payroll that I'm indicating the hours of leave that they took. And then keep in mind too, employees can request time off online. You can view that request. You can approve. Those hours are going to flow into payroll module. No extra typing required. All right, here is my contractor ready tech. I've simply hit tab on my keyboard to navigate. I can pay contractors an hourly rate of pay. I can pay them one lump sum. It's up to me. And then for my hourly employees like Samantha, I enter any regular hours, any overtime. But something to keep in mind too, you don't have to necessarily do that manual entry where my mouse is moving in circles. Um, if I was integrated with one of OnPay's partner time and attendance uh, providers like T-Sheets, when I work, deputy, I would have an import hours button here. I can instantly upload any hours for that pay period. And another bonus, um, no pen intended, which you'll see in a moment. If I click this little box right here, I can also override deductions if she were assigned any. I can add in a quick uh, withholding override on the fly, or I can add in other custom pay items like a bonus. Um, we also have other wage items you can rename if they want to break down the wage expenses and be very particular. So I'll add in a bonus for her, um, 25, well, it's an okay bonus, it's a bonus nonetheless, um, but I could potentially have added in tips, um, done those deduction overrides, all without having to leave this screen. So we've got our wages entered in, we've got the hours added. Next step is for OnPay to calculate the taxes. It takes just a few seconds there, and I've got my immediate results. Now, just as an orientation, I'm seeing far left-hand side, a delineation of the gross wages. Perfect time to double check your numbers. Oops, did I give her a $2,500 bonus? Do I need to go back? Um, sorry there, Samantha. Do I need to change anything? I can just go back to enter hours. But what OnPay is calculating and drafting for, withholding taxes, what's being deducted from that employee's check, employer taxes. So you may not see this as much for nonprofits, but federal unemployment, state unemployment, uh, the matching FICA, and then deductions on the far rightmost column, we have a wide variety of pre and post tax deduction types, um, you know, 401k, medical dental vision insurance, you know, section 125. We also support things like garnishments, child support orders, a whole bunch of them. And something to keep in mind um, for your clients if they do have child support orders or garnishments that they need to factor into payroll, OnPay can pay those for free. We just need to be made aware. We'll ask for a copy of the order just to make sure that we're paying it correctly. 
And if you're looking at me like I, or not looking at me, if you're listening to me and think I have two heads and you don't even know where to start, don't worry. Our onboarding team, they can assist in setting this up for you. They can look at the payroll reports, see what deductions your client has. They can enter it in for you. They can assign the deductions to the applicable employee. So you've got help there. Now, you or your clients would review the pay run here. If your client doesn't have access to OnPay, you can export this window as a report, send it to them if you need their sign off. But when I'm ready to approve, I would click approve. And before we do anything, we tell you what the tax draft is going to be. So we do draft at the time of payroll. So it would be it would fall um, the business day prior in this case because I'm running payroll a little bit early. We have a second separate suite for direct deposit. And then we also confirm when employees should expect to see those funds hit their bank account. Don't forget with that access to the portal, I can have my employees and contractors too, don't wanna forget them, view their pay stubs. So if I keep this box checked for notify my employee, um, they'll be able, they'll be prompted, they'll receive an email, doesn't tell them any information except, hey, you've been paid effective this date, log into your portal to view the pay stub breakdown there. That way it's all secure, or I can disable that if I don't wanna send that out. Now at this point, when I select approve payroll here, Oh, and I didn't realize I had must have kept the QuickBooks Online integration on, um, which is good, though. I can show you this example. So QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Desktop, zero, we have an automated integration with. I can map my chart of accounts one time in OnPay, and those journal entries or for zero, um, the different bills, they would send over into that corresponding platform. And in this case, I have the perfect message that I wanted to see is, hey, those journal entries, I get that confirmation they've sent, been sent over into that uh, platform. If I'm paying anyone by check, I do have a spot where I can download checks. We don't have a uh, print and mail check service, just something to be aware of. And we'll go over the accounting integrations a little bit later on in this presentation because I know accountants love their numbers. But first, let's take a look at some of the reports that are available to you to help uh, analyze payroll expenses. Now they're user-friendly. If your clients are accessing this, um, they'll be able to navigate just fine. And it's also robust. So I'm able to do different filters for a very specific date range. Under select, I can choose from some of the um, pre-formatted options or you know, filters that already appear. These are exportable in Excel or as a PDF and then kind of calling your attention back to the location department and position, I'm able to filter by all of those fields, including a specific run, um, including a specific employee. I can also save my favorite reports if I need to, if I don't want to click into each one each and every time. So you hit approve, maybe you're taking a look at a few reports. On pay side, our job is just beginning. So I'm going to navigate to a different tab. We'll go to filings right here. OnPay is responsible for filing and paying state and federal payroll taxes, all 50 states, at no extra cost. It does include our error-free guarantee as well, so keep that in mind. We're assuming that responsibility. Should something ever um, occur that was a result of an error on our part, we will assume uh, the penalties, interest, we're taking responsibility for all of that. We have a dedicated client operations team. They handle any tax notices or, hey, I'm so sorry, my client processed apparel outside of OnPay and didn't tell me. Maybe we need to do an amendment. We'll take care of that too for free. This is also um, where you'd go if you're printing out those W-2 and 1099 forms for free, or again, $5 per form, one and only add-on fee we have. What I like here too is that I'm also able to track the tax payments made in real time. I can also go back and see that historical record. Um, and if you ever decide, hey, OnPay is not really a good fit for me or your client says that, you still get lifetime access to the reports in here. And this report specifically, I would see you know, FICA. I would see a line for that liability and then I would see the date paid column updated in real time once we make that particular tax payment. And then, as always, exportable in Excel, exportable is PDF too. And then, if I go to COVID-19 here, if you're tracking the FFCRA paid sick leave, any other tax credits, we've got a place for that too. Um, so some of our clients that were with us uh, well before all of this occurred, they are able to produce a PPP-specific report. Um, but FFCRA, um, employee retention credit, deferral of Social Security tax payments under CARES, I've got all that listed. 
And even if you're not a client of ours, we do have a handy COVID-19 resource center. Um, we have a printable guide you can provide to your clients. We also have articles that are updated very frequently um, based on new legislation. Uh, things are always changing with uh, CARES or FFCRA or their you know, SBA lenders are coming out with clarifications and what have you. So woof, we just went through a lot. I just wanna make sure, um, let's see, do we have any questions before we talk about the numbers? We talk about accounting. Let's see here. All right, no questions yet, but please don't hesitate. Um, I love to answer questions here. I'm gonna keep my screen paused and I'm going to come back to our original presentation. So here we go. So let's talk uh, financials. <laughs> We know that not all accountants manage expenses the same way, so we've developed the most flexible integrations, and that includes tracking wage expenses by department, pay type, tracking categories. So you can get your GL really to look the way that you want it to. You can send the uh, data detailed at the employee level or just as a summary. And then also, as we saw in my, uh, my pay run, that caught me a little bit by surprise, but hey, it's enabled, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Automatically send that payroll information over as soon as payroll's approved. And then for those of you that maybe aren't using QuickBooks Desktop, aren't using QuickBooks Online, are not using Xero, we do have an Excel exportable GL summary report um, if you're using a different provider. So just something to keep in mind. And I'm so uh, exportable in Excel there. And you've got help, client experience team can help you, my team, the partners team can help you with that initial mapping the chart of accounts, but also our implementation team will work with you, make sure your integrations are set up just the way you want, all for free. And when you have questions, concerns, need help, we wanna make sure you can reach us easily. You're never gonna have to search for our phone number, it's on the screen along with our email. You can also chat with an experienced and knowledgeable member of our client experience team right from your account. So email us anytime, or you can call or chat with us Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we stay open a little bit later for our West Coast folks. And all clients also receive a free 30-day trial with free implementation, no extra cost there. And we'll also have your back if something ever goes wrong with our error-free guarantee. So I'm gonna look at the questions in just a moment, but before I do, um, Marjorie and Sandy, could you please launch our polling question um, before we continue further? Thank you. All right, so everybody can vote if you'd like to hear more from Kara and on pay. And there is a handout I wanted to mention uh, while you're voting, uh, you're welcome to download it from the handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel. And we have about 50% voted, so let's give everyone a little bit more time to get their votes in before we close this out. Looks like you've got a couple more questions, Kara, to answer. Oh, perfect. Um, we'll go ahead and close the poll in about five more seconds, but Kara, go ahead and uh, say go ahead and answer those questions if you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. So George, you asked any special pricing for nonprofits. Um, not at this time, our pricing, it's its really straightforward and everyone's on that same pricing tier, the 36 and four. Something to bear in mind though, is that you know part of that accounting program, you can pass along the discounts to your clients. Um, so it's they're starting at three or more accounts with us, discounts start at 10% off of both the base monthly cost and the per employee fee. Um, so instead of a revenue share check, you can pass that on directly to them. Um, so just something to keep in mind there. And then we have a question from Pat here. Is there a best time to move from one processor to another? Um, very good question. So I can tell you coming from that operations or implementation world, um, we can do mid-quarter starts. That's perfectly possible. Um, there's just a little bit more involvement for the Schedule B of the 941. We need to make sure that for that particular, the quarter in which your client would potentially be starting with us if they've processed payroll, we're gonna ask for a payroll register or payroll details report for each individual check date. Um, or you can grant our onboarding team user access to their previous provider. They can pull what we need there. So. Um, they're really doing that data input. Now, if you want a really clean transition, you can also start at the beginning of a quarter. That's another thing. If you don't want, if you want it very clear which quarter 
is the responsibility of the previous payroll provider versus the current current that's a great way um, but we do mid quarter starts all the time um, we're going to draft for the federal and state unemployment taxes those are typically refunded back to your client from the previous provider and then we would have assumed hey the previous provider made all the other you know 941 payments withholding payments things like that so that's a really good question Oh, I'm loving these. What other questions do we have? Any other questions before we go to the final slide? Please let me know. Let's take a look here. Okay, none yet. I'm still going to be kind of looking out there. Um, but let's go to our final slide here, just so you know another way that you can get in touch with us. There we go. Um, so please feel free to schedule a demo today at onpay.com forward slash accountants. That time is really yours. You can use it to actually um, go back into the system or just uh, we can answer general questions. But I wanted to close today by thanking everyone for taking the time in to sit with me. I hope to hear from you again soon. But in the meantime, if you've indicated that you want to hear more, please look out uh, from, for an email from me in your inbox. We'll have links to get you started, resources to follow up for more information. Um, but thank you, Insightful Accountant, for hosting us. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Thank you so much, Kira, for a fantastic job. Thank you, everyone, for taking a little bit of time out of your afternoon. George says you're a wonderful speaker, which I totally agree with and made oh, that hour go you. very, very fast. So um, that's it for Insightful Accountant. We hope that you will um, join us on the next webinar. Bye, everyone.